Alrighty, welcome back to Let's Play Starcraft. And when we left it last time, we were trying to murder dudes. So I've obviously been making a meal of this, because again, this is the fastest I've ever done this particular mission. It's probably my probably my anal nature wanting to uh Oh my hell. There must have been a shuttle drop or something. Because that was very disconcerting indeed. Prepare yourself. Alright. Your first jump through warp space could be unsettling. I don't like you, Zars. I hope you get killed or something. Alrighty! Uh, so, how did we do this time? <laughs> 12 minutes 43. I did that mission quicker than I did the opening tutorial mission thing. Um, anyway. Uh, oh, that's a bit better. Produced 64, killed 38, lost 11. That's a slightly better rate of attrition. Uh, structures, decent resources. All right, let's go. With the Protoss forces beaten and scattered, the Overmind has withdrawn the swarms to the remote ash world of Char. Ooh. The new Dominion, primary hive cluster, planet Char. Behold the power Ooh. of that which is yet unborn. For the swirling images that flow forth from the chrysalis are only a shadow the sleeper's true power. Ooh, really? The psionic emanations of the chrysalis have reached out into the depths of space and lured our enemies to us. Oh, well, that's nice. For now, we are aware of their plans. Hmm? All squadrons close formation. Scan for hostiles. Ooh. Emperor Arcturus believes that there's Zerg out here, uh -huh. so it's our job to flush them out. I don't want any slip-ups this time. We'll show these critters that they can't run. This time, engage the Terran forces with care. Your priority is to protect the chrysalis at all costs. Gotcha. Although I would, well, yeah, oh poor Dookie. Protect the chrysalis. Eliminate all forces. 
Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. I think I remember this one. This is one I suck epically at. Ooh, that's ready to pop. Um, the Terran, it's the Terran Dominion, Alpha Squadron in point of fact. Well, it's Dookie Baby after all. Um, why not? It was John Wayne. Elvis was the king. Um, are uh, around there, and they have. Excuse me, uh, one of my favourite Terran units, Siege Tanks. They have a lot of Siege Tanks in point of fact. Uh, which means. Oh, I'm gonna actually have to be. Try and do something clever, aren't I? Oh no! No. Like this one. Hmm. Where is it? I can't remember. Uh, yeah. No, it is this one. Yeah. You know, do you know what? Never mind. It's been ages since I've uh, uh, <laughs> played uh, this game. Uh, well, not ages, but long enough that. Remember, it's a little lazy. Anyway, yes, uh, the origin of the Zerg. I'll give me something to chat about once I get ready for my uh, stomping. Or, to, as I get ready to be ruffle stomped. Um, move over there, boy. Thank you. Uh, yes, the Zerg began life on some distant world. Uh, looking, well, not dissimilar to the Zerg larvae. A uh, larvae? Lava. Larvae. Larvae. Um, that uh, the hatcheries um, sprout out. You know, innocent little insectoidal things going about their little insectoid lives and generally being insectoidal and stuff. Then, an ancient race known as the Zelnaga who, as the story progresses, you'll discover, basically did everything. Um, uh, found them, and turned them basically into this. They, um... Oh my goodness! My gracious, my There we are. Um, yes, they... Basically, uh, accelerated their evolution a bit, as I recall. Um, oh dear. And, uh, just generally, um, uh, made them, well, this, really. Uh, they, as the uh, Zerg Swarm, yeah, as the, oh, Piddle Poo. Oh. Well, that's a tad annoying. Okay, I'll put that there then, I guess. Uh, but anyway, yeah, as um, the Zerg swarm, as it were, grew, and uh, were well, basically left to their own devices, as I recall, uh, they uh, created the Overmind uh, to start exerting uh, its uh, will. Um, and basically, the whole thing was uh, the Zelnaga were trying to create a race with a purity of essence, I think it is. And I know it's mentioned a bit later on in the Zerg campaign. Um, but yeah. And, uh, hmm. So, that was that. And then, you know, the Zelnaga were, you know, were quite happy um, watching the Zerg go on and uh, basically infest and assimilate all life on their native world and then, you know, start developing um, ways to leave their world. And so forth. And uh, yes, they were so happy watching them uh, that they didn't notice when the Zerg started uh, their attack on the uh, entire Zelnaga race. They were a, a space born race. Uh, you know, the, I assume they had a planet at one point, but um, they then decided, nah, we don't need a planet. And, um, you know, basically stopped living in space and uh, they created the Zerg. Um, after they created the Protoss, interestingly enough. Um, but we'll get to that in the Protoss campaign. I hope. And... Yeah. So they didn't notice it when the Zerg uh, started attacking their... Uh, well... 
world ships, I suppose, and uh, rendered the Zelnaga race extinct. Um, yeah, so yeah, unfortunately that's literally it um, for the Zerg, well it's the Zerg origin story as it were, in a nutshell. So, um, not quite as, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Complex, maybe? Or as, um, full of intrigue and such like as the, uh, uh as the, uh, Terrans? Found an expansion point. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh. You get to build that wherever you can. Really. Well, nice to be able to link these things properly by creep. Um. No! Hold on. Not you. No, you, come. Is this. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I wouldn't have done that. This is the one where, um, Lotus Age tanks. But given that position, I think I'm gonna need a reasonably uh, substantial. Um, Um, ah, here we go. Uh, ventral sets, that's for transporting. Uh, antenna increases their sight, and pneumatized carapace means they can move faster, which is, again, always very useful. Um, ah, yes, Evo Chamber. So you can go there and build me another Evo Chamber. There, I think. Start gathering stuff for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, okay. Progress is being made, and uh, actually, thanks to that. Actually, I'll. Yeah, okay. Well, increase the carapace. There and uh, hey, some of these boys are out of it. Then, wait, we're going up in two, one, and alrighty. Okay, so not bad, not bad at all. So, well, that's it for now. <laughs>